from CT, but Astralis don't really have anyone in this angle. Instead, it's mainly short, kind of set up to play this retake zip. Tucked in at Gandalf while Glaive is drawing attention oh, in. Zip's dear. gonna come out swinging, dropping the bomb, making things awkward for Heat. They gotta get this down, they gotta get it planted. Joko gonna be the man to plug in the numbers. Body holding it wrapped, they're still waiting for Zip. Isn't giving them a thing from Gandalf. Up through CT, Config's right here. And a swipe body out of the round. And now Joko having a look at too many angles at once. It's actually the short man of Farley to get the better of him. If exercise was there, that nade would be great, but he's a few seconds delayed as he tries split A. Is it solid long kill? Can he stay alive? Oh, the flash is pretty brutal. He's getting rushed down. Can't pull the dig out in time. Farley oh, tries dear. to plug the hole. Lucky gets the better of him. Out with a long swing. Blame F will hold the line for the first. Wow. That nade is good. Going to get rid of exercise oh. of Blame F. The tank three in this round. Now only Afro left. He almost had this long timing. Was almost able to find it. Blame is full regrouped with Glaive down here in middle. So Afro may be able to chance that jiggle. Now the Glaive has given over the 1v1. Blame F was last seen dealing with this cat play from CT. He's already all the way up long. And I think Afro thinks he has more time than he actually has here. Planting the bomb. Now going to start to consider oh. long, surely, right? Enough time has oh. elapsed. Still doesn't <laughs> think Blame is this deep. Oh, oh, quick turn. Wow. But Blame will lock in the round. Four kills from the man. Molly goes over onto the catwalk. It's meant to displace an AWP up here. And as oh, they move dear. in, that's a little bit awkward for Joko. He just burns in the Molotov. Blame F's found another. They still don't know about Farley. He's playing around the simple smoke over at short. Oh, tagged and finished off. What a turnaround, man. This was getting so wild. Like, Astralis were pulling away with it. And in the blink of an eye, Body and Afro come up with the goods. It's all left on to Blame F again. This time, a 1v2. Nade. Nade. There's another one in spawn as well. Blame can kill Body right now on the site. Oh, the gun might have to do it. Nade gets pulled. It lands well. Body's dead. And Afro, full health. Blame's going to wrap again. He's getting ratty already in some of these rounds. But Afro's cleared it. Make noise running up on this site. He doesn't have a smoke for the bomb. Afro has a great position for this plant right now. And Blame might just have to flash stick. He sees the angle. Flash goes out. Is it a fake? Blame just looking for the fight right now. It's not like Afro can even hear the bomb go off. He's fighting for the round. Four health. Blame wins it but no time oh. and it's going to be heat on the board eventually even blame dead to the bomb so no orb saved what's up guys check out hotpizza.gg a really good case opening website recently hot pizza has had a really cool new operational cases for example in this new case you can get a special rare item which guarantees you 100 percent profit also they are holding a new event as well first select your preferred payment method and for every one dollar deposited, you get one bomb. Once you get a hundred of them, you can open a new operational case for free and get a nice bonus item. Also, don't forget to use my code METS to get 50 cents for free and start opening more cases. The website has many other modes like case openings, case battles and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. Good warning on this B play that's about to hit. It's inevitable with three smokes already used by Heat. You know they're coming. Oh, oh. config. Lovely in middle. Lucky on the receiving end of that play. You know, the A1S silencer will stick out around that corner. And things start to spiral out of control. It was lost. Guns now retrieved. The three on three for Astralis. Big man, oh, Blame F, still very Frank. much alive, still very much in play. And going oh, into lower, no. Joko needed to hit one of those at a bare minimum. Instead, he's now gone, and he are left in this two versus three. They've pushed middle. This is, oh, oh god. my god, that's a lot of damage. Bloody hell, the spam has done so much here. And Heat with the confidence to go pushing middle, exercise over Ooh. faces, and Farley is going to clutch it out. It's close, but there is time for this defuse. Oh. You know, left with a man trapped at blue bin. This isn't even advantageous. He's literally stuck here, just having to hold the line. Ooh. All right. All right, Joko. That's more like a second kill in the round. And Config decides to up and leave. Won't give him the room to fully exit. 
Don't give him the room to fully get out of here. Still hanging about, but it's given another kill over. Joko's done a very good job of isolating these engagements. But other than that, you know, you know you've done so much util damage and you have heat trapped. You want to take those kills while you've got them. Heat are, were going to go B, but they've ended up splitting A after Joko just goes ham on the long side. Or, oh, dear dinked, and Glaive runs it down. He's got util for the plant. Look at the health. Everyone's low. Another nade kill on default for Astralis. Oh Don't goodness. tell me they're going to two on four. Oh, oh my god, Farley hits a blinder. Joko, oh, all the kills in the round and he would have needed the ace. Astralis have stolen that one away. Wow. Man, beautiful from Glaive, right? Classic from this guy. They've done the reps, they've done the DM, they've hit the servers, and right now they're hitting heads. Sit with another, gets out this time. Things are even improving as rounds go on. And now Farley, oh, the nade smoke causes a problem. Body will hit the headshot, and Joko's up on the short side. Blame doesn't know. Very deep R heat, but they've got to win this fight before it all falls apart. Now they can go back to the bomb site. Blame is caught in the open. Another plant, perhaps. But how much can heat do here? The smaller Tov on config is uh, is lovely. He is taking it all the way to long, so I don't think he's looking Ooh, to throw that yeah. out. And this is actually going to give a bit of an opening now with Glaive dead over at short. Config running in with the orb, running at them with this AWP. All right, flash goes high. Joko off the angle for a moment. Oh, now removed. Joko yes. starting to find his footing in this map. Went from being, you know, bottom of the board for his team, someone who we're not used to seeing in that position. Astralis are one step ahead in this one. Still, need multi-kills. Need them to shut out heat before this oh, site take beautiful. happens. It's a lovely flash. Farley opens with one. Zip tucked in at the car. They weren't ready for him, but he only goes one for one. Farley oh. needs this, and he will pick it up. Are they ready for Blaine? Tucked in at the site. They never even considered it. When you've seen the short man, you've dealt with a car player. He's playing the blame game. They don't love it. It's 14 to 6. He is looking monstrous right now. That's a great grenade as well from the guy onto Afro down lower. But the orb already removed. Nade or not, it's Farley to style with two. AK and orb, he can do it with whatever you give him. And this pistol going to be cleaned up by Glaive in the corner as well. Heat. A match met. Oh, Farley almost gets caught. A blink off has come in, but he does die. And... Hey, the Molly will finish the job. Team effort and Farley, a one-man army in middle. Four kills from the young gun on the AWP. And what a nice sign it is. He gonna try get out long now. See, yeah. the only man oh, yeah. here. And the timing on that reposition is pretty brutal. Gets caught out on an island. Suddenly this AWP having a drop off of short config now. Oh, long okay. flick, an AWPer indeed. He's on for a double. Blame F's tagged up over at short, but he does win the cat fight. Just going to elect to stay nice. alive. That is nice decision making there out of Blame F. Playing for the retake, playing for the three on two. He can do more as a body on short, See drawing ya. attention in than he can as a dead man. Afro, talk about a trial by fire here. 1v3, you said how he hasn't really warmed up into this game just yet. Will this be his time? One way to wake up going into the second half. Three kills and none of them found. Farley shuts him down immediately. And Astralis, yeah, these retakes have been super clean on the A site. Glaive has had extremely fast flanks. Retake potential. Body's got his kit on B for this retake. Astralis are doing everything they can to Zip's sell mid to B. Dead. But yeah, he's about to get found out. Nice kill for Afro. Seeing Zip walk back only confirms this fact that Astralis are going A. Yeah, three on five as they move in. Oh, 2v5, Config and Glaive. Ah, now just Glaive. It is a clean pistol out of heat. 50 seconds. Glaive dropping in the middle. It's been heard by Joko. Nice. And there's the closer. So Config going to stay on the scout. Doesn't give it to anyone else. There's still this goose player that they don't know about who should just oh. lock the round in. That's a lovely shot out of Config. But Body, nope. waiting patiently, gonna steal the round away. Nice. Yeah, you know, he kind of had to feed Afro. This is really the ultimate test for Joko. He does have oh support God. right in the oh doors, God. but they've got nades out. Oh, Astralis ain't respecting that. They go running in. Slowed down by the mollies. 
And the smoke only extinguishing nice. one of them as they try to go in, as they try to flood this site. It rapidly gets out of hand. That double Molotov setup out of heat is a thing of beauty, right? One going just a little bit deeper than the second. And yeah, they went back and got the bomb. So actually, it will be this recommit into long. Uh oh. Afro, here's the moment. Don't mess this up. There's the first. He hears more footsteps. They're running at him. They're running him down. Oh, Getting dear. closer with every missed shot. Glaive will trade that one out. Now they start to aggress up the long side, sneaking in. Flame still holding the tunnels, has caught the B player getting aggressive. Now that that B kill comes in, there's a moment of, a moment of panic for Heat. They see the double doors of smoke. They hear flashes going off. They know they've lost nice. the sight. Config going to remove another man over on short. And right now, they've kind of taken a bit of a gamble. They've split up 1-1. Uh -oh. A kill on the bomb, rotating in through tunnels. Yeah. Could oh. win the round. Oh. Farley's got 20. a little bit indecisive. No this time. could actually work in his favor as he spotted exercise in the tunnels. Blame's got to come back. He needs help. And that's the bomb drops. The round. 10 seconds. There isn't any time for Astralis. Exercise can just run away. And Blame was trying to hold the B site as well. He wasn't even coming in to help. Config killed the rotate. If Blame activated earlier, if he tried to run back and clear tunnels, maybe they would have been able to trade that kill and find Exercise and Spawn. Instead, can it keep up? Because we've got a mid to B now. Something new for Astralis. They're doing it pacey, lucky. Picks Glaive out. Now they know there's a, still a double orb in play. The money's been good. Lucky post back up on the tunnel, seeing a player crossed in, but not really the a much support. That car player's looking back oh. and a collapse for Lucky. He oh. follows up. It's an ace attempt, but Afro finds the last. It's five AWP kills coming in from Heat in a moment. Afro is getting oh, aggro dear. with the AWP. Doesn't yeah. need to go this far. And that has returned. Oh my goodness, there oh. is more aggression. Okay. Blame, he will sit in these tunnels to the end of the round if he has to. And he doesn't have to, but he will. And this has started to make this one spiral rapidly out of control. Exercise Smoke. over on Shaw is getting pressured, not just from Long, but from Cat as well. He's going to pick an angle, try to fight for the Long side, and eventually he's dealt with... That third is still a question mark, but Afro is going to get caught. They're boosting up. Oh, no. Lobbing in the molly. Body wins that fight somehow, some way. And Afro now, they know about him. He smoked the Molotov. Farley looking over the smoke, and Afro is going to win his fight. Every single one picked up by Heat. Afro will not stop. And this is a great recovery round for Heat to come in with a 13th Glaive. Dinked dead to the AWP. And it's Afro with three. Yeah. Glaive go back to Catwalk, but look who's regressed. A tag out of Afro's orb. Two orbs hitting shots, neither of them converting kills. It's Lucky's time to shine. Oh, Joker makes contact first. Lucky now swinging on the back of this contact. He will lose his teammate, but that does not deter him. Swinging out again. Doesn't want to give this kill over to Farley, so he just won't peek. Waits for that shot to rally past him and is now holding down the angle. Oh, God. Both moving in, they're coming his way. Rough spot for Lucky, gonna switch oh, out to the no. USP and Farley will best him in the head-to-head. -head. Okay, smoke's now faded. He's got to fight for the cross. This all, he would love it to strike right about oh. now. And there it is. They run at Farley, they do get the trade. It's Glaive versus Exercise. Flash up through the window, tries to take a peek on the back of it. Hopping oh. in, missed shots and Glaive is gonna close that one out. If he kept the spray up, he might've won it, Harry. He didn't think Glaive was gonna re-peek, but this guy has just muscled around. F it, 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 unfamiliarity with the task at hand maybe gets to him. Flash over the palm tree. They're gonna go swinging out. Body Glaive. didn't see them concealed behind that smoke. Glaive gets away with just sitting out in the open. But he needs to do more than just sit. He needs to stand tall. And instead, he's cut down. Body flashed in. Config will best him. However, you're going to need a lot more out of Config now. Flashes continue oh to harass the lone Danish rifle. And this swing from the AWP will seal the deal. Afro with another hat trick. Going quick for a mid play. Lucky's here. Not another nail or surely. There it is. Five on four. And again, perfectly poised our heat to shut out this round. Blames Lurk's got to come in big. He catches Lucky. There's only one more man here. He's hiding in the smoke. They don't know. They don't clear it. Choco doubles. And Blame will have to trade. But is that enough in a two on three for Astralis to shut out the retake? I mean, they've two on three from this position before. Far more going against them. Oh, that's a peak from Farley. 
Oh, Takes it dry dear. into the window, and they even deal with Blame F back in the tunnel. He know the importance of repelling that B play. Oh, they're lobbing it all in now. Lucky back flat with this orb. First kill will connect. Needs oh. more smoke shot, and with Body here fighting alongside him, oh. Joko in with another. Lucky's there to close, and it will be Lucky snatching. Dust two away from Astralis. Beautiful scenes here for Heat. It was a slow start to the map, but when we get into that second half, good bit of util purchased up. I think it's important that they're able to find success right away here. Over in mid, Heat are gonna come pushing with three. Looking to fight Config, who will get overwhelmed. If they get out, this is insanity. They should get a trade here. Oh, yeah. And that decision from Afro to hang around, try fight that, instead of disappearing through the red smoke, has offered up a four on four. And popping out of A main now. Oh, good timing caught for Farley. Gets body running backwards. Exercise will trade. Zips pushed into the temple. And there's a. Second and third man oh, right around this dear. corner. The flash blind okay. zip. It's a really nice layup there out of exercise. Oko to grab that kill. They spot Blame F back here in Donut. And Glaive has actually left main, peeling all the way back to middle oh. to come and join Blame F. Now he's throwing into this one, 1v3. They've they heard know. the footsteps. They know where he is. They get on the bomb. Low oh. players trying to block. <laughs> and Joker will lock the round in with a double there. That scout is on B watching the flank. Mid completely open. And exercise shuts the door on A. That is one way to do it. Bomb's getting retrieved now. Zip had to run all the way back through middle. And he's got it. Jumping and throwing the smoke. Blaine now knows he's in the corner. He's going to try and scavenge for those rotates. That had to be a kill. Now chances are diminishing. Joko's getting rushed down. He almost pulls nades. Nice spray from Blaine, but 10 seconds. Someone needs the part. Tip's looking for fight. He lines up a couple, but he's all that stands and sticking it will guarantee they rush him down. Fake out. Seven seconds and Afro closes. AK's on the ground. It's heat up to three. 13, I think it was 14-2 down to Entropic. They swap over, they lose pistol, they swap over, and then they win the game. They pull it back with like a flawless 12 round streak yeah. or something. No, so it definitely can happen. Yeah. Um, over here at lane, Lucky's locked it in with a double. You know, a, a lot of this kind oh. of lurk style play that Astralis were good at, the defaults that would often net results. Barley's still here. Config. All another. right, that's more like it. These are the little successes that can make all the difference. Even though, oh, I was what say, happened? Even though one man got a kill over <laughs> in cave, it quickly becomes two. Both Glaive and Blade feed this B site. Oh, I love this gamble. And right now, with all the room that Config has, the temptation might be there in the back of the minds of Astralis to go towards this A site. <gasps> if they do that, it's a done deal. Zip dead at lane. Farley. Might have to go for a long rotation in through spawn. An exercise should hear this. Does he clear it? They might, right? When you see Compix up, you know he likes these A lurks. They might check it. Oh. It's coming out of a bit of a coin flip for Lucky. Will nope. he do it? No. Oh, he believes beautiful. it's clear. Beautiful. Compix plays the trigger discipline and will tap Lucky out eventually. Farley holding this line and there yeah. to close the door on heat in that round. Okay put utility into that round. Is this a B rush? Config hasn't bought nades. That implies he's going for an early fight. He's getting flashed into the bomb site. Nice pace change for Config. Quick kill, and the flashes are so assaulting. Heat are kept back. Exercise removed, and Lucky smoked off in the cave. He can try and spam a plant. Does some damage to Glaive, but won't finish the job. And Astralis, a pace change to put them on two. Oh! oh. Doesn't even say it's a smoke shot, but it definitely was. Config, hell of a round. Config doesn't buy a shred of utility because he knows either he runs in and instantly dies and then the util never gets used, or he goes in and he kills everyone. He's just one round away from being broken, which is always a thing of beauty. It's a very commanding spot to be in. Config winning this same main fight. And I mean, even in terms of the ebb and flow of this game, like you're feeling Config lurks at A's, finding the impact that we're used to seeing this round, right? They actually look to explode in okay. on the back of it with him. This Deagle on body. Oh, oh, it's clean. That's a lovely double up. And he's no taken way. a man advantage round for Heat out of the blue. It's the Deagle doing the bulk of the damage. Glaive, we have dealt with the man over in Donut.
He know everything. Yeah, Joko's won this for off position. Oh, the jump's not great, but they shouldn't have heard it. And either way, he knows if they're not late mid, they have to be going all the way around the world. Will he stay for the fight and do Astralis trade it? Glaive is low. If he goes in first, it's a freebie, but he's waiting for them to cross pass. Surprise, surprise. Zip shot in the back, and Glaive now has to stick it for CT, but it's a wall bang from the lane. Joko closes it with two. And so he, they never should have won that. They, they only had a couple of guns and they weren't even the things that did the bulk of the damage there. It's an A pop out of Astralis. There's a third man here in Joko. Oh. Off default with a double, but he will get Molotov out. Still, he's given Heat a reason to give this round a look in. Afro already in Temple. Lucky pushing the CT smoke. Lucky waiting over in this little CT corner. Will this go unaccounted for? They've heard that orb fire off. They don't know where the second nice. man is. Farley is fed with the CT peak. And Lucky now making a bit of noise. It goes a long way. Zip turns back into the site. The way to do that, config. Are they really going to get him in red again? Well, he looks aware. Does he know, though? Is it certain? No. Oh, he's scared of this corner. And Config just nails the headshot. Full B lane here for Lucky and friends as he have this space. Joker getting crashed through, but they're lining up everything, including with their guns out. Blame. Anti-flash behind the box, ready for that fight. Ooh. It's a nice try for Heat, but they might get caught again rotating. Oh, I thought Exercise would be able to hear them there. They're so close to one another. And as this aggression comes in more and more, you know, I say I like Astralis. They haven't done anything super exec heavy yet. It feels like the aggression, it, it just very much feeds the beast in this scenario, man. A little bit awkward lucky. 1v3. As Blame F in the back line, still over at ledge. Farley holding the deep angle, going to be hard to get past this. Yeah, sneak walking it. That's nice and easy for Farley. So, you know, towards the end, been doing it, but they were taking mid from the lane. Config's tucked in. He is committed. They've got to clear this. There's so many angles. They will check, dropping in. Config spamming, recovers it well, but out of ammo, it's only one. Here's the repeat. Farley is so fast, and he gets two with the bomb at his feet. Farley, any more? Perhaps there's a tap, but it's only exercised in the site, not for long. Astralis work out how to win that round with some beautiful shots out of the USPs from Farley. Config's got donuts, so any steps will be heard from this position. He's going to have to send the bomb all the way back through Spawn. Lane again getting crunched by Astralis, and look at them go. They catch everyone with their backs turned. Afro wasn't even watching Ramp. Exercise does find the back of Config coming in through Donut, but they push the molly. They beat him to middle. Glaive barely makes it out. 10 health. Rotate running. Joko's here, and it's the double push through A that Astralis didn't expect. Again, this bomb is still very scarily located as Glaive should hear it run, but he's been spotted oh, getting out from Donut. Yeah, he thinks he's been sneaky. He thinks he's found a gap. You ain't found no gap, Glaive. Shot in the back of the head. Joko having a beautiful round here. Going to start to run up con or up to a Donut, rather, and is bested by Zip. Ooh. Bomb plant having to go down safe. Zip walking in, trying to close the distance, oh. and that's clean. Zemnix with a lovely round, but a while since we've gotten nice clutches out of this guy, and that is a pivotal 1v2. One's going to step up to the mark to try and deal with him, and it will be Body running them down. This is the bomb on the back of Exercise going to Donut. Oh, oh that's a lovely flick on a config. And what? can't quite follow up. Farley will even drop his teammate in the meantime. Glaive up close. It's a bit of damage dropping the bomb, but he's traded after one. Farley... 41 points of health. They know he was in Temple. That Molly forces a swing out of him. And he's got a reposition. Can't stop the bomb plant. Can't do anything about that. He now trying to deal with this AWP. They're right up in his face. They're right next to him. Farley just not giving them this fight. Body oh. will get no scope and lives to tell the tale. He's the one that got what? away. And Afro's there to help out in the meantime. Oh, I felt like Farley did enough, man. He stalled so long trying to buy time for his teammates. He taking some damage on that cross. They had to smoke mollies. Astralis were doing the same. Blame wall banging body through the wood. And that's how you want to start it. Config late smoke, but he will live. Can he survive longer? Glaive comes through over the top of red to help him out. Two picks for Astralis set up for a round. This should be no way back for Heat. Oh, hang on a moment. Config gives one over in middle. Still the aggro blame over here. 
Now Molly means they don't need to clear right, oh. and they're ready for a left side swing. Blame is gone. This was a 5v3. Oh, Heat now walking the cave. Zip what? dead over a B ramp. Joko will get traded after the first, but Glaive is the low B site defender, no. and he's wiped off the slate. It's only Farley. Very far removed from the B site. Lucky is low. Look at this. Afro half, half held. The bomb going down. Incredible round out of Heat. Incredible. All beginning with this all click from Afro. It's not like he's coming in, Harry, with some monstrous AWP game where he's coming in 3Kng every round. Glaive's tucked in on long. The Joko, so many crossfires, so many angles to clear. And there's the first. Oh man, this is a lovely bit of room. Like getting a B is oh! so hard. And this guy makes it look so easy. Just Farley who burns in the volley down in middle. And he, they're the ones on fire now. They're the ones turning this up. 13 to 11. They're getting hyped. Exercise given room to go and take red. He's found a gap here. Has exercise on his little jaunt up through middle. They've even dealt with Zip over in the cave. Now mid is being held. Blame F here, but that's not going to make it any easier. Exercise now with a chance to make it by, but he will get cancelled out. Config holds the line. A missed shot for Farley as the pressure is building. This oh. Orpa, this untested player, born to his knees. Config moving in, is sideswept from long. And so it's only Glaive left standing. 1v2. It's a very similar situation to the one we saw Farley in, right? Glaive has got experience. He's got tenure. This guy knows a thing or two about how to play these clutches. And he's going to show it now. Fires off. They know where he is. Oh. And Bonnie's there to lock him out. Four kills. Four kills to find 14 now. Yeah, if there's one thing we've already learned, Harry, is these Augless teams pick them up, put them in their place, because Zip, he's going to get aggressive and at least shut down two. Molly out, got to be careful. Afro traps him in the corner, but doesn't capitalize. Zip can still escape until Afro takes that angle back. Zip's calling for support. Moving in is Farley, trying to come down the ramp with another bit of util. Glaive's going to stop a mid lurker. Body can't do anything about this. Let's look back to middle. Farley's aggressed. Afro might just be giving them an AWP here. Quick shot. Can he escape? Oh, yes! Oh! Afro hits them both. He shouldn't be winning that. Now he's low on health, but that's not going to deter him. Will get shut down by Config over at short. Body isn't able to trade it. Now finds himself all alone. He's got to oh. try and clutch where normally he's been the guy yeah. shutting these down. And Config will get the better of him. That is a damn good attempt. Couple of sitters getting missed. Couple of shots that he would have hit earlier on in the series not going his way. Flashes over this A site now. Farley needs to oh, hold no. the line. Blinded. Good oh. for the first. Makes it a double. That's more like oh. it. Give him the off. And look what he does. Three in the round. And Farley not giving up without a fight. Forget I said wow. a word. Look at him go. He's in with the ace. That's not luck. That is skill. Quick shots for Farley. Solo on the site. He knows he's got a bit of room now to work with. It's Config, who's been donut all CT side long, having a great game as well. The rest of the team trying to punch out on B. Config sees exercise and deals with him. Farley missed shot. That all rallies off. Dejoko moves up through the ramp, but zip from range can pick him apart. Oh, it's a me messy spray, but he gets it down. Bomb drop off as well as Lucky shooting through the bloom of that smoke. Glaive is still here. Firing shots with Zip. Bomb plant is going to come in now for Heat, but Astralis have the numbers and Config has great timing on a flank. Oh dear. Smoke shots for Glaive. Some things never change. Yeah, rolling it back. They're starting to piece together where he is. They're going to peek him close. Oh, Miss yeah. shot. And now That's they it. get even closer. Smoke down. Oh. That's a no scope. They're on the bomb though. He needs to move up. He needs to get them off of it. And there simply isn't time. Zip, he'll provide the Overwatch. Astralis have tied this game up at 14 all. And they've got to play for overtime in this one. No shutting it out now. Fast out mid, Tech Nines running right. Config not checked. Easy spray down. Three kills. And that is exactly what Astralis needed. Sounds like it's all clicking into place, doesn't it? Only one man left. Body's gone. And so Astralis reach 15 after all. On their lead up, Body. Got to watch out. Conflict's got a gap in mid. They're running into B. They're not waiting around. This is a 5-on-5 five five execute into the B bomb site. No hesitation here for Heat, but maybe there should have been. Glaive has picked one off the mark. Zip follows up. Double kill on the trade. Not a 3v5, though. Not one Zip wants to give up. And this might just be map three. It's one man, and Conflict smoke walks to close no, it out. Fuck it,
Oh, oh yes, yeah. Astralis, they're believing all over again. The four dirty rounds is what it takes, but it does mean this series, this torch is carried forward. A big rotation for Astralis, but this is a bit of a fake out. Exercise is cleared up at the bomb is B, but will it come up the vent? Seems like it. Clay falling oh, in. No. Doesn't even make it to the ground alive. And now he can get the plant. They need to pull up and do some damage as config on this USP. But weird time already having ticked away from them. It's looking rough, looking undoable. Yeah. He aren't overextending, and they've even got a guy wrapping hell. So should be a done deal. Blame F on the main play. Even though he gets one, it's probably the end of the line. And Heat now looking to run away with this pistol. Nothing that Blame F can do here. They're hounding him down, and he will take everyone to the grave, but it's still a Heat round. Yeah, nice fake out there. They're playing both sides at the same time, right? And Smoke's now landing. They try to make it down. That's Ooh. a lot of damage out of Blame F on the smoke spam. Oh, he's going to get one. Ouch. That was guaranteed. Exercise on the receiving end as he tries to cross back. The man who was tagged the lowest going to get bought to his knees now. Double set up down lower. Astralis looking to bring the heat right away. In oh. this fourth round, Farley going to drop one more from play. Ouch. The auto shotgun in Hut is deceptively overpowered. It's incredibly strong. Flashing towards the site. Zip dead. However, they're getting fast wrapped by Glaive. With just a body left standing. He might leave this body bagged. Blame have to find him with a double. Config falls back down the vent to join him and Zip just trying to buy time. That smoke falls very short. It bounces on the lip of the plant spot. Lucky gets the entry, but Config's actually using the smoke to his advantage. Will they be ready for this play? He's hiding inside, trying to deny any bomb plant that he attempt. Body is stuck on him right now. He realizes, surely he realizes Config wins a fight. That's a clean burst. And he even follows up to the bomb above him. Afro trades, but how the hell do you get this package out of the rafters? Someone's going to have to make a move. Someone's going to have to go get that. Oh, never mind. Afro's digged out. Blame F. And now it is just Glaive on versus two. God. They're still so psyched out. Like, the bomb is very out of position here. They will send Afro to go get it. Going to get his hands back on it. Now dropping into the site. There's a temporary 1v1 oh. for Glaive. But as he goes running in, tries to disrupt that bomb plant with the util. Life. Oh, gets the info. Oh, it doesn't go both ways. It's good for that opener. Still fighting oh and still God. doing damage. Glaive, a monster down here in secret. Maybe, maybe scares Heat out of the outside play. It's all they're really left with here. They've given up Lobby a long time ago. They don't oh. have the info, so their hands are tied. They've got to keep fighting forwards. And fighting forwards leaves oh. you in the prying eyes of Config. They are going to get past him, but a USP from Zip has reclaimed that kill. Glaive trying to close the gap. Oh, he might hit this timing. They just oh. look away, and it's the tag. He won't commit to the full kill. Doesn't want to throw away the Galil. Not the hill to die on, especially with so many bodies still in A. Blame's going to hold the line. And for he, this is a round that will sail Ooh. past them. Joko trying to take as many out of the round with him as he can. Probably need a round pretty quickish, right? They want to try and have a bit of a response here oh. to what Astralis are bringing. That molly separates the push, gives Config these two 1v1s. He can't get in. They're smoked off. They're denied this presence in towards A that they were looking for. And they're going to try and go back to ramp where Zip sits waiting. Oof. Waits patiently. Lucky will open up on a Farley out on A. Zip hears them coming. And deals with the first man in. Oh, and the second. You're not getting into ramp. And if Lucky even tries, Config's got his name, got his number. Holding from the hut. And we'll lock that in. That's all blame as well to begin it. Config frags out. Has stopped this hut rush. So he have to do it in the mid round. They have to run into this orb. Farley. How will he get out of this one? Dropping down. He, they do let him get away. They're trying to give chase. But Zip here on that rotate out of heaven. These CT rotations are so quick, they're so clean, they're so vintage Astralis. Just when you think you've got an advantage, they're so quick to clasp down oh. upon you. Zip might have missed that timing, he might be stuck here. They're going to take a lot of time dealing with him. Zip just doesn't have to give them this fight. Will swing it and drops the bomb. If Afro dies, oh. there's no winning the round. Zip has stolen it away from CT. Doubled vent setup. 
zip even oh. in heaven. Like, everyone is outside. You're trying to go out, and you're being fought by four different players. Don't you worry. managed to get down with two, but oh, guess who's here? Config, that guy <laughs> who was in main, has now dropped the ladder, dropped the vent, and is ready to shut down the B play. This is just perfection out of Astralis. No one re-peeks him in lobby. That's so much info for Astralis just by seeing no one that he can call their all down secret. They try come back up and Farley flicks two. Dangerous strikes at the worst time in a three on five. Astralis are coming alive. They're starting to doubt everything. They tried to go down B. They tried to make the outside cross happen. They didn't like what they saw down towards B. And going back up A has not served them well. If they weren't in their heads before, they might be at the end of this oh. one. As a three on five looks to fall apart. Afro all alone. Both players here for Astralis. He's not no. fooled them. And a missed shot sees Zip close that out. Astralis up onto nine. And Convict's pushing smokes. He doesn't respect you. He does not care. Oh, not again. Body and Config did this down on the B site. This was how like everything got disrupted <laughs> earlier on. Config's bodying them in with a triple. He tears them down on the door smoke push. And it's only Afro now. What little glimmer of hope there was once is quickly blown out by Config. Glaive goes swinging, looking to win this, looking to send a bit of a statement. Yeah. And he will churn Afro up. A man, I mean, they close close to the hut, but Config's got a molly primed. He sees the jiggle and he throws it out. They've got to run through the burn and Config delivers the treatment. It's painful. Bomb in the middle of the site. And that's oh. a flick for Farley. Fast fingers on this guy. Every single time. And it's what you're going for with your last oh. buy at the end of the half. Like, that is that is just brutal that this is all they feel like they have left. Yeah. Blame's even there to drive the knife in the back of body on this. Rap round deals with him. What does he want to do with this? Could Ramp zip? Zip is tunnel visioned in on Ramp. Astralis yeah. is starting to re-aggro lobby, but they have lost this Ramp control. And with Body already down on B, help. they're going to have a bit of a rotation oh. down towards him. Missed shot for Farley. If he win this, that might re-energize them going into the CT side. That, that would be massive. Just a little pick-me-up before moving into that second half, before moving on to the CT side. And Astralis, these T sides, they have kind of been Astralis on the T side now. It was 11-4. Heat, they got one round at the end in round 15. Now they need to repel oh. the A play. Lucky with two. And Afro going to come in with one of his own. Joko taps out that bomb rotating into ramp. We'll get deleted after the fact. There's a man in hell. There's two pushing lobby. Farley here with a USP. Oh, Ooh. he's dead. It's the dual Berettas on exercise and Lucky to find three. Oh, up and over. Lave gets the info at least that there's two players here, so they know what they're going into, but that doesn't make it any easier. He hold on outside. This double push serves them well. Farley is desperately looking for a trade, and he'll get cut down by the Famous as well. Zip and Blame F might be out towards Ramp, but the bomb is outside. So first, they've got to go back before they go forward. Don't know where anyone is. You do have this advanced positioning on Blame, but there is a chance that he gets caught by the man up in heaven at the AC vent. Lucky going to delete him. He has a real round here, does Lucky. A very nice. large one indeed. Him and Body, four kills between them. Yeah, some things never change. He's waiting for those rotates, but no one's coming outside. They might just have to be stuck out and wrap the molly and the smoke spread. And there's no way to get back in for the moment for Heat. Blame F's even lurking upper to kill these players where they take lobby. And now as far as are hunting the kills to close the round, impatience pays off. Exercise in a one on five to save his gun. Right, he can't let this get them down. Heard no footsteps, so Astralis are further than Heat. Ready for it, a missed shot. Afro not counter strafing in time. Glaive will find him. Body didn't hear anything to tell his teammate how deep they could have gotten. He will win his fight outside the plant. Allowed by Glaive, who covers on that ramp rotate. And Astralis try and clutch out a post plant in what was a two on four. For Lucky here, he's going to have to keep that in the back of his mind. That this is a possibility. This could happen. And it is happening. Config moving in. It's been closed on him, so he's going to have to make noise, swinging that open. No one's looking. Whoa. They get on the bomb, and Config's taking them off. Oh, oh, doubling up now. Config, hell of a spray down from Decon, and even as Body finds him, it's not enough to win the round. Astralis have locked this one in. 
just Glaive and Config to make it so, to make it happen. Right now, Joko is alone on this B site. Gonna have to put up one hell of a hold. He's seen a player peak. Now he's seen a second. A painting getting, sorry, picture getting painted on the back of all this info. Joko Ow. is still spammed out. And we end up in this three on three. Vent drop is pretty immediate for Heat. They start to send bodies in. Speaking of the man, oh, bodies dear. late to the ramp rotation. The fear put him in earlier oh. on from Config. And oh, never mind. Exercise goes swinging out and steals that one away. They're building back in. They're believing again. They're taking lobby in this round. A double push. Could this be the way in? Oh. Zip with the clear. Spams out Afro. And is he even going to molly the close corner? That forces a commit to the fight out of Joko. Trying his best oh, to dear. hold on. He will win that out. Onto the orb, but he's getting pressured. Farley with a double. Oh, it'd be poetic if it's this guy to rise to the occasion. Help Config out. Relive those ancient heroics that pulled Astralis back into that map. Back into this series. That's his double on the aggroing players that has set Astralis up for 14. They've got to clear Lucky, they've got to get past him yeah. and blame F Will. It's all come apart in this round now. Heat, they were building back into this. They were believing again. But he gets the info that, okay, it's not just a one man here. Molly's Joko into a gunfight. He has to commit and bam, body gets bodied by Glaive at the end. No saving your rifle. And it's let him chill out on top of Hart for way longer than Astralis intended. He's still up here okay. with Body dealing with main players. Maybe there's hope after all. They're going to start to try and run at him, try to deal with the man in main. Oh. Meanwhile, in at ramp, config, or zip rather, he can progress. He just got info. Zip saw a player on the top rafter, so that's going to keep heat here. And Zip calls for help from Blame. They both come out, and that's a beautiful headshot. Or fires off, but it needs to connect. Or this could be the entire series off the back of this round alone. A three on five that Astralis have made a 2v2. There's a quick flank. Zip's not watching. He turns back, though. Oh, body, he's so low. One bullet. Or to do it, and Zip's going to hit the headshot. Just Afro. Up close comes Blame, and Afro's getting pushed back into a corner. Can he unleash hell? 1v2. Just bait shots. A quick scope that won't connect. And he's trying to play with the door, but it's Blame with three kills on the lower side to shut out the round. And Astralis will find 15 first. And they pulled it back and won the map in 30 rounds. Heat, do they have the same gumption? Do they have the same ability up against these legends? It's a nice stack. It's a good flash. They peek with it, but Astralis were getting ready to go and go config shower. Three kills in a quick burst, and this might be the end of Heat. This might be Astralis at the major. It seems foretold, and this game is sold down the river. Afro in a 1v5, and folks, Astralis are going to Antwerp. Yeah, that round there, mate, it is a perfect metaphor for this game, for this series, for this map. You do everything you can, you throw all these flashes, you've got a game plan, and Config just annihilates you regardless. Man, Astralis, they turn it around in a big way, come Nuke. It got shaky on Ancient. You got worried at one point.